uh, this is something you put in every interview of yours, and this inspires me so much. Now, Harold B. Bloom, the reactionary critic who champions the Western canon against multiculturalism. Like, uh, I didn't get the context. Is it in some book? Has it written it, or does he say this? Yeah, he's got a book called The, the Western Canon. Oh, that's the name of the book? Yeah. Okay. Oh. So it's a good read. I mean, I should... I mean, it, it, it's... I, I mean, he's a, he's a solid writer, not, nothing outstanding. Uh, his ideas uh, are pretty boilerplate. They're not anything that anyone else hasn't said before him. Um, but I mean, uh, you know, it's one of those things that, uh, yes, white males uh, have dominated uh, European culture and, and Western culture, and Western culture has dominated uh, third world culture and, and yeah. even the yeah. communist world, which is now gone. But that doesn't yeah. that doesn't mean uh, that uh, white men are superior. That's ridiculous. You know, here in America, for example, uh, it's used to say that well, black people are stupid because they are the uh, they have the least amount of, of money and they uh, they they're, they're, mm. they're poor. But if you look at every culture, whatever group is at the mm. bottom eco socioeconomically, they have the lowest mm. scores. The biggest indicator mm. of a low IQ score. Uh, is not mm. anything to do with genetics. It has to do with poverty. If if people who are as pale as me and to be whiter than me, you'd have to be an albino. But if mm. if I if I was the representative of my race and my people yeah. were living in Madagascar and we were mm. at the bottom of the ladder and and mm. for ten mm. generations all people with pale skin were said that they were stupid and they were scumbags and they were they were mm. sleazy and they reproduced like fleas and and whatnot. Mm. Well, guess what? Mm. Uh, people, people are like that woman I mentioned who didn't want to pay her, who wanted to pay a cable bill and not her electrical. Bill. They say, "Fuck it, I'm about me. I need something in my life. Everyone's against me. I just want me, me, me." And and mm. I have I have known that the people who are the most self centered and greedy are those people who are the poorest and those people who are the richest. The poorest do it because they have absolutely no other. Thing good in their life, mm. but the rich people yeah. do it because they have an insecurity. You know, white mm. men in this country, and I'm, I don't like political correctness, but it's absolutely mm. true that white males in the Western world, especially the U.S. and U.K. and France and, and whatnot, they mm. have a fear because because they know they know that they did nothing to gain their position of superiority by via mm. intellect by being better. In any sense, uh, they they are the inheritors of. The, there's an old saying when George Bush the first or the, uh, George W. Bush ran. A, a woman said he was born on third base in American mm. baseball, and he thinks he hit a home run. If you're yeah. given, if if you have to run a hundred meter dash, and and you have to run the hundred meters, and I just have to take mm. two steps, I don't care mm. if you're Usain Bolt. I'm gonna beat mm. you to the finish line. Mm. That doesn't mean yeah, I'm faster. Okay. No, but I mean, I actually side with uh, Mr. Bloom, you know, because uh, I, I would say that I'm not exactly the white man per se, but I do believe that Western culture is in many ways much more superior. And maybe not now, of course not now, but at least in, in the Renaissance or the Industrial Revolution. I mean, I do believe that individualism is the, is the best uh, way to live. I mean, I live in a collective society and it's a horrible, horrible society. You know? Well, Western so, culture has... I, 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 I... I agree. Western culture has good things. The thing is, you have to take the positives from each culture. Yeah, Western, exactly. cu Western culture, though, is also responsible for the Middle Passage. It's also responsible for more genocides than the communists. Western culture is responsible for racism, the wiping out of Native Americans. It's responsible for the, the Belgian Congo massacre. It's responsible for apartheid. It's responsible for... Uh, countless wars fought proxy wars fought in asia it's responsible for for uh, discrimination against homosexuals against women it, uh, it's responsible for this me first attitude that has gotten us global capitalism and and brought us corporations and I, if you ask me the greatest existential threat to human life right now is corporatism corporations are behind global warming. Corporate corporations are behind 
uh, the the oil uh, they, they run the oil companies which fund Islamic terrorism. Corporations yeah. are behind so many of the evil deeds here. To me, they are a cr corporatism is almost a synonym for organized crime, and far worse than what you'd see in The Godfather about Italian mafia or whatnot. Give me the old-fashioned mafia. We know they're bad guys, but but Bill Gates. And Jeff Bezos are every bit as bad. They might not be ordering hits and killing people, but their policies mm. kill people. Mm. Their, the policy mm. in Bhopal 30 years ago when people died, you may, might not have even been born then. You know, there was uh, Union Carbide, what was it? Two or 3,000 people died because some corporation didn't give a fuck about the, the chemicals they were using. That is yeah. capitalism. And that is, that is unfortunately, the end game of, of where Western society goes to, unfortunately.